I got into golf about five years ago, in 2009. Because my husband, Craig, he was brought up playing a lot of golf. He loved it. It was his hobby. He was involved with deaf tournaments. He used to go to them quite regularly. I wasn't too fussed. I was at home looking after the children. And then I asked one day, can I come with you and just have a, have a watch and see, see how it is? I could be your caddy. And I went and, oh, I really enjoyed it, talking to all the other deaf members of the team, all the men. I enjoyed walking around amongst the trees. I really enjoyed it. Currently, I play golf here at my local club. I come here every Wednesday. I'm involved in the ladies' competition. It's a hearing competition for hearing people. I really enjoy it. I am the only deaf person in the team, but I, I still enjoy it. My biggest personal achievement so far has been, I was involved in a ladies competition that's just started this year and I won first time. Also, I'm involved with the English golf team in their tournament. Last year was the first time that, I, that I've got selected to be in the English golf team. My role models are from the deaf community, people in my team that I play golf with. People who've got fantastic handicaps, really low handicaps. I look up to them and follow them as role models. Handicaps low as two, three, four, or five. And I get involved in competition with them and it's fantastic. I learn a lot from them, so it's, it's those people I look up to really. I'm, I'm really keen to I use them as role models. The thing I enjoy most about golf it's quite a lot of things really. I enjoy it. It's quite a relaxing activity, walking around. I've really got quite a competitive streak in me. I do get frustrated when I play golf because, because of that. And sometimes I think, oh, well, that was really bad form. Other days I play well. But I think that's a good thing because it means that I'm learning and I, I want to do better and better myself and improve my game for the next tournament. Somebody who's taken up golf, I would tell them, definitely, golf is for all. Deaf people, ladies particularly, you can do it. Look at me. I'm 39. I only started five years ago playing golf, so it's never too late to do it. I know some people maybe think, oh, well, society's attitude, well, the stereotype of golf is that it's quite boring and it's a bit of the high-class people, and it's not at all. We need more people involved to try it. Same as me before, like I said, I had that stereotypical attitude about golf, but it's not like that at all. Once I got involved, I love it. I know there are issues if deaf people want to get involved, such as communication, but it's raising awareness. You, you know, I manage raise men awareness amongst the team. It's a good way to raise that awareness and improve communication and talking to other people, even people within the team as a deaf person.